Yo, what is up, players? Today, I'm going to tell you about our trip that we took to Scotland, specifically the city of Edinburgh. While we were in London, we found out that uh, Scotland, which was really close by, had something called Hogmanay, and that's one of the celebrations they have to bring in the new year. Also, funny story before we start, I thought that Edinburgh was pronounced Edinburgh. And nobody told me that I was pronouncing it wrong because I think they were just so nice. So the whole time I was just saying it wrong to everybody that lived there. It's like a tourist going to San Francisco and then telling everybody, oh my gosh, this is crazy. I love San Francisco. I apologize in advance to everybody who lives there. I'm an idiot. All right, so we just found out that uh, in Scotland, in the city of Edinburgh, they have a torch ceremony there. We're in London right now. So we decided, fuck it, let's go. But it starts in like two hours. So now we're rushing to go take the subway or the tube as they call it here. And then we're gonna buy the first flight over to Edinburgh and party it up. All right, so we made it to the airport and now we're rushing to board our flight, which is boarding right now. Okay, you go, you go, it's really happy now. We made it. It looks like we made it in time. There were 75,000 people. You could not see where the event started and where it ended. There are speakers just like lined up for miles. Sometimes they would play really upbeat, you know, party songs. And sometimes they would play really depressing songs. So it's like, should I have a great time and start partying or should I feel like killing myself? We are on the finale song right now. <laughs> They're playing Adele Skyfall, but this is cool. This is like a show. Just in time for that. How oh, awesome. Now that the torch procession is over, as they call it, um, there's like this little carnival here that I thought was gonna be, you know, for kids and for families and stuff. But it's actually some pretty crazy shit, like this thing right here. It's it's going down right now, but it usually spins all the way at the top. Oh my god! Ten times scarier than it looks. I'm telling you. And, uh, I know. I don't think you understand. I'm, oh my god! Shit. <laughs> we're, we're sitting here imagining what if what if the chair fell. <laughs> Afterward, we went to check out all of the other festivities that Edinburgh had at this time, and um, it was just really awesome. Everything from the little shops to the food that they had to even the alcohol that they were serving. I am currently having. Uh, Drambuie right now, which is the scotch or whiskey? It's a scotch liqueur. It's a, it's, it's a type of scotch liqueur. Um, they mixed it with apple cider and lemon, which is something I've never had before. A warm, alcoholic drink. What are you having? I'm having Drambuie and ginger like a real man, because um, Kong was bitching that it's fucking too cold to drink. Okay, well I'm not gonna drink a cold drink when it's fucking freezing out. All right, so the next day we woke up and uh, went to find a nice Scottish breakfast to have. And we found that, surprisingly, there was an item in our plate that was blood in a cube-looking type of thing. This is apparently blood. Um, but I'm Vietnamese, so I'm using this kind of stuff. <laughs> That's really good too, actually. We skipped our coffee this morning because we realized we don't need it because we're gonna get an adrenaline rush from this thing. So let's see how it goes. Oh, this is the machine we're going on right now. These are our camera operators. Do you have to be in safe? Hello? Is it safe? Yes, it's safe. Sometimes it's safe. Sometimes it's safe? Alright, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Oh, 
way. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't throw up my Scottish breakfast, but what was the scariest part of that motherfucking thing was they're blasting like trance music down there, right? And as soon as, as, soon as we launched, like it was like space. It's just like there, there's no sound anymore. Like that's how fast and high you were. It's like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like On our way back to the airport, we decided to explore as much as we could. After doing that, let me say this. Edinburgh is extremely beautiful and is probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. You gotta understand that I come from California. I come from LA and uh, buildings kind of look a certain way. It looks kind of boring almost, at least to me. So when I come to a place like Edinburgh, everything looked completely different. It was almost like a culture shock to me because it was so different than what I'm used to. At one point while we were walking down the street and exploring, we heard really loud music coming from what looks like a church. And keep in mind, it's noon right now. So I half expected that I would go in there and find Christians raging to techno music. But turns out it was a lounge slash bar that people were just hanging out in, in the middle of the day. And here is where I got to try mulled wine for the first time in my life. And for those of you that are thinking this, no, it's not mulled wine, like M-O-L-D, it's mulled, M-U-L-L-E-D, wine. It's not good. Like, like it's burning the plastic. We went to inside some church and uh, we're drinking mulled wine right now, which is um, just hot wine with spices and stuff. My absolute favorite part of going to Scotland was visiting this place called Cadenheads. Cadenheads has been making whiskey for a very, very long time. But anyway, look at all of the different types of whiskeys that this place has. Speaking of which, in America and in a lot of other countries, they call whiskey that's made in Scotland, scotch. But in Scotland, they just call it whiskey because obviously it's their own country, so. Fun fact of the day. What I really came here for was the whiskey that they bottle for you right from the barrel. When you get a bottle from Cadenheads, they pour the whiskey from the actual barrel that it was aged in, and then they seal it and they label it for you on the spot. Also, what a lot of people don't know about whiskey is that it's supposed to be around 50 to 60% alcohol, and it's supposed to be like a light yellow, almost clean piss color. I don't know why I just compared whiskey to piss, but moving on, when you're dealing with brand name stuff, what they do usually is that they water it down to 40% alcohol exactly, and then they put some coloring in to make it very rich looking, very dark looking, and it, that, that's what gives it that caramel color. And as much as I love some of those whiskeys, that's not how it naturally is. So there's another fun fact of the day. On the way back to the airport, we were sipping on probably the best scotch or whiskey as they call it in Scotland of our lives. We're sitting in a double decker bus right now all by ourselves, well almost, but um, pretty much all by ourselves and uh, we got a front row view of the city. So this is pretty cool. I'm gonna give you guys a nice little panoramic as we drive along and also show them what we're sitting on. And uh, on some of this, um, some of this scotch poured straight from the casket, like straight from the barrel. And to sum everything up, Edinburgh is such a gorgeous, gorgeous city. And surprisingly, a lot of people there are just really, really hot too. You wouldn't imagine the number of hot girls that I saw there. On top of that, everybody's just extremely, really, really authentically nice. Even at the airport, they give you plastic Ziploc bags to put in your liquids and your toothpaste and stuff just in case you forgot your own Ziploc bag so that you wouldn't have to throw it away. If you were here in LA, if you were here in the US, anywhere in the US, they don't do that for you. Even when my friend Ricky got pulled aside to get his bag checked because he had suspicious items which ended up being like a bottle of toothpaste. The lady who was checking his bag was really, really nice. She asked us, you know, where we're from, how our trip was. I was just thinking, this is the complete opposite of what you would see in LA. In Scotland, the mindset is like, hi, how are you? How can I help you get through this process and make your day just a little bit better? In LA, the mindset is, here's your bag, go fuck yourself. 
And after this, I totally understand why people hate Americans now. All right guys, so that is the end of our Scotland trip. With that said, leave a comment and let us know what you wanna see. It could be anything from more deleted scenes to something as crazy as go and fuck a hooker in China. I'm pro probably not gonna do that. But you're more than welcome to put that comment and we'll take it into consideration. But seriously, leave a comment. Let us know what you wanna see next because we still read everything. I'll see you next time. How much weight do you think I gained? It looks like 10 pounds. <laughs> Easy. Over the course of what? Hey, stop saying. Guys, guys watch our channel to learn how to get laid and you think they're gonna to wanna to learn table manners. A little bit. Little bit. Who gives a shit about I see these, this generation. <coughs> oh my Sorry. god.